Welcome to Hashem, this is Shemad Yashin and Equipment. How are you? I'm Mary Jane Lamon, and I'd like to welcome you to my home, Cape Breton Island, the Celtic heart of North America. During the first half of the 19th century, approximately 50,000 Scottish Gaels came to Cape Breton Island. They brought with them their Gaelic language, their rich traditions, and their very rich culture. They settled in close-knit communities, and that allowed their culture to flourish and survive. And today, we are the only living Celtic culture in North America. Whether it's dancing to lively fiddle tunes, or learning a Gaelic milling song, or tracing your roots, we'd love to share Cape Breton with you. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on a tour to let you sample the experience, and I'm sure by the end, you'll find out that you're Gaelic at heart. For nine days in October, Cape Breton is home to an amazing celebration of music and culture, the Celtic Colours International Festival. Artists from Scotland, Ireland, Wales, Brittany, Spain, the United States, and other Celtic areas join Cape Breton's finest musicians, singers, dancers, and storytellers for this annual cultural and musical celebration. The festival presents dozens of concerts in communities all over the island, an extensive lineup of community events, and a nightly festival club. It is a music and cultural festival unlike any you have ever experienced. The Celtic Music Interpretive Centre offers the perfect introduction to traditional Cape Breton music. Our professional musicians meet with visitors in an interactive setting to explain our culture and play tunes like marches, strass bays, jigs and reels, and they might just step dance to the music. There are also interactive fiddle and step dancing lessons, lunchtime kayleys, and an extensive collection of Cape Breton music. The Celtic Music Centre offers live music seven days a week throughout the peak tourism season. College in the Gaelic, the Gaelic College, offers educational programs for students of all ages. You can study Gaelic music, language, dance, craft, with some of the finest instructors Nova Scotia has to offer. Visitors can also learn the history of Gaelic settlers to this area in the Great Hall of the Clans. Take in an evening Cayley or enjoy a traditional milling frolic. Discover these vibrant and extraordinary traditions by visiting Holliston the Gaelic. The Highland Village in Quachin Gaelwalch is a living cultural attraction that tells the story of Nova Scotia Gaels who emigrated from Gaelic Scotland. Located in a beautiful setting overlooking the Bredore Lakes, the Gaelic culture comes alive on these hills with costume interpreters who will share some Gaelic language and traditions with you as you travel through more than a hundred years of history. If visiting in the summer, you can take in the annual Highland Village Day concert or one of the acoustic concerts held in the church on the site. If you're descended from the Highland Scots, you can even research your family tree here. Home to Cape Breton's own Glen Breton single malt whiskey, a friendly welcome, great food, quality accommodations, and good times are always on the menu at the Glenora Inn and Distillery. The Glenora Pub is graced daily by some of Cape Breton's finest young and established musicians as they provide lively traditional entertainment during regular Cayleys. And don't miss the whiskey tour where you can sample a free dram. Cape Breton has many talented artisans, and they are celebrated by the Cape Breton Centre for Craft and Design, located in downtown Sydney, Cape Breton. Centre for Craft and Design houses four state-of-the-art studios and a fantastic gallery shop showcasing over 70 Cape Breton Island artisans' work for sale. They regularly provide workshops where visitors can learn to make their own work of art. Besides these experiences, I'd also really encourage you to take in some other events. Gaelic events, concerts, Kayleys, dances. They're held at locations all over the island. Don't be shy. Cape Breton culture is meant to be experienced, not just witnessed. Jump in and participate. To learn more about Cape Breton Island, the Celtic Heart of North America, go to celticheart.ca. Kunye Hikshira Kayleys.